yet to be fully resolved, according to pundits. Well, let's take you through an interesting day that Kenya is joining the rest of the world in marking, and that is the World Savings Day. And we want to take you through some interesting um, uh, observations as well as uh, numbers. Well, the World Savings Day is celebrated every 31st of October across, the year, uh, across each year. And this year's theme is our future starts with savings. Let's take it to the other interesting aspect around why have savings not been that impressive and that big a number compared to other years? If you can get to the next slide, you should be able to see what are some of the reasons that have continued to hold back Kenya and uh, a number of African countries as well. So one of the big outcomes is uh, low interest rates uh, have been a big blow for savers. The money that you remit at the bank and at the end of the day, the interest it accrues hasn't been that impressive and this has had a big impact really on how much people can save. The other interesting number is Kenya is battling a poor savings culture where we're seeing a population that is heavily geared towards consumption and uh, leaving little money for saving as well as uh, low wages and low salaries. The other issue that has crippled savings is financial education is still low, whereas uh, we've seen uh, literacy has been improving. Financial literacy right now is at 75%. And uh, of course, this has been very impressive for Kenya and for many countries in this particular continent. And of course, this is one of the big issues. The other issue is mismanagement and underinvestment of savings. This, of course, uh, goes to heat out at the institutions that are tasked with investing money that people are saving. And these are 